it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video guys so today we're going to talk about a project called sphere finance on the polygon network now i've not spoken about many polygon network projects recently i used to speak about them quite a bit but the polygon network was just slow uh, it used to really get on my nerves you know i've got nothing against polygon or matic itself I actually made a lot of money on the matic token so i'm um, always thankful for the gains but you know with the polygon network uh, always had issues you know rpc issues and so on but i don't want that to be the reason why i miss out on something new uh, something that's got a lot of potential and with sphere finance this will be my number one play on polygon at the moment uh classes itself as a smp 500 of crypto so you know you're in well you're investing in sphere finance which is investing in other projects so it's almost like you're diversifying your portfolio in one particular project um, so yeah, it's, it's, I don't know if it's like an index fund or anything like that, but you know, this is pretty cool. It's got KYC by Obsidian, uh, the Obsidian Council, which is owned by Jesse Eckle. He's a famous, uh, famous influencer that I actually watch for a lot of other things as well. It's quite entertaining as aud audited by Certic. I know a lot of people are not, you know, very, uh, you know, happy with, um, you know, Certic audits recently. They're getting a bit of a bad reputation. Uh, Solidity Finance as well audited, so it's got two audits, uh, so that's good. And um, yeah, this is a cross-chain, multi-chain project, and they've got this thing called Quantum Liquidity. Now, when I make videos, I don't explain things the best, you know, I just, I, I don't write down a plan and go through the plan, a detailed plan and things like that, like some people might do. I just literally talk and explain it to the to, to the best of my knowledge that I know about it. So I just ramble on and, you know, give you a brief overview of the project. But they've got this thing called quantum liquidity. All right, guys. And uh, this gravity bridge. So um, one of the things I like about this, going back to the, the you know, points that I made about, you know, uh, the Polygon network and so on. Uh, you don't actually have the bridge over to Polygon to buy this. Although I did. Uh, for this project on two occasions uh, so this is the second time i bought this token and topped up my bag um but literally if you come over to the dashboard let's say for example you're on the um, avalanche network or let's just go to the avalanche network uh, you can just click this button it says buy sphere from your chain so it takes you over to rubik and then with rubik you can select the different chains that you wanna that you wanna use at the time, like Phantom, Avalanche, Binance, Smart Chain, for example, Moon River, Solana, and so on. So you know it's got quantum liquidity. Liquidity is all over the place. It's on. Is is you're able to cross chain from all these different networks, which I think is pretty good, especially for those people that are not too familiar with you know bridging and stuff like that. It's definitely a good way to introduce people into a project without having to jump through hurdles to buy the thing. So I really like that about this. I'm not sure if anyone else is doing it that way. Um, but, you know, you can always let me know in the comments if you uh, are aware of that. But let's just go back to the Matic Network and go back to the website. So this is similar to your Seifu, uh, Titano and those sorts of projects. Except it's not a fork, okay? Um, the code is built from scratch. So it's original code and... Um, yeah, the developer on this is a guy called Simsala, and he seems to be building up a pretty good reputation in crypto, and he's being spoke of very highly. Um, I see him in other groups as well. Uh, well, I saw him in another Discord. Maybe he's helping out some of the devs in there as well. So this guy's getting around, and um, he seems to, or, or he's said to be, a super smart guy. Very fast dev, very, you know, um, uh, open dev, and did an AMA with Jesse Eckle as well. And, like I said, he's KYC'd. Um, I believe the whole team is KYC'd. That's what Obsidian do. And, yeah, this could be a pretty good play on the binary, sorry, on the, on the Matic Polygon network. So, I don't want to miss out on it, guys. Now, when I bought this token, obviously, there's a 13% tax to buy it in. And when you do go to sell this token, there's a 20% tax. So, obviously, you know, you don't want to try and day trade this token because you're going to get hit with those taxes and you're probably going to be in excess of 33% down if you're just jumping in and out of this thing straight away. So obviously be sure that you want to buy the thing when you do buy it. And um, it rebases every 30 minutes. So you can see my next reward is $3.28. I have 91,439 tokens. 
um, currently valued at $8,321 and that's earning me $158.98 a day. So I like the fact that it's passive income. Um, you know, you might have noticed on the channel this year, I've been focused a lot on passive income plays. So if it's earning me a passive income, I'm probably going to, you know, be more inclined to get into that um, as opposed to something that's not. So it's 1.91% a day, which works out about 99,000%. I know it sounds crazy, 99,000 or 99 um point nine hundred thousand percent APY so obviously it's annual percentage yield guys so obviously it's gonna fluctuate with uh well the, the percentage is gonna remain the same but um it's paid in assets so you know your t dollar value is gonna fluctuate uh total wallet twenty six thousand three hundred and thirty holders and this has only been around for you know about a month guys not even yet so one of the other reasons uh, why I bought this token is it just keeps uptrending. I've been waiting for a pullback. I've, I've DCA'd in, bought some, uh, thought it was going to pull back, you know, and it doesn't seem to be pulling back. Uh, when you first come on the chart, obviously it's going to look like it's done a crazy pump already, but I like to zoom out on these charts. You guys know that if you've been following the channel for a while. And when you zoom out, it just looks like nothing. There's no glow off top. Uh, this is the four hour chart, so we're not seeing any crazy, you know, price action yet. All right, it's just been uptrending slowly over the past, you know, three weeks or so. And you can see a lot more volume coming in at this point as well. So, you know, I think that there's potential for increasing price action in this, which is why I bought it. And not only that, you're getting the rebases every 30 minutes, 1.91% a day. So pretty good, you know, um, return on your investment if we get a pump out of this you're not only going to get the price appreciation of your holdings each day your holdings are being increased so um well every 30 minutes your holdings are being increased so that being said could be a pretty good project for you to look at market cap says 749 million over here obviously that will be fully diluted so the market cap 217 million market cap that's 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 not bad <laughs> that's not bad for a month's work guys so you know i think that this could be you know, you know, could it if it four X's from here, we're going to be in excess of a billion. So, you know, it could potentially be worth more than a billion market cap. Uh, uh, market cap, and the speculation as to whether this could become one of the top ten, you know, top twenty cryptocurrency projects out there in very short space of time. You know, and by short space of time, you know, we're looking at you know the next couple of years, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but obviously, um, there's going to be people that are going to look at this, the APY, I think, nah, that's crazy, you know, we've seen it with, you know, so many projects before, some of them which are, you know, doing pretty well at the moment, and some of them, like Time Wonderland, for example, which we've seen crash and burn, so there's going to be people that are apprehensive about this type of APY in the first place, but it has a treasury of 18.79 million, so, um, yeah, I think that this could be a potential project for you to look at, not financial advice or anything like that. Um, yeah, you know, I'm interested to see where this thing can go. Um, obviously, you know, they've got those things on the roadmap like gaming, um, liquidity, bootstrapping, uh, governance, and this operation bribe, uh, which will incentivize other protocols to participate in the sphere wars, whatever that is. So, you know, I recommend you go and join the social medias and so on. And do your own research, of course, guys. This is just my opinion. You can go and have a play around with the dashboard. I've got a calculator on here um, and so on. Obviously, you got these, uh, you know, you can check out these games and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, they've got, uh, obviously, they haven't got their own swap, but they've got the link to Rubik and your documents and so on. So, guys, uh, yeah, I don't want to miss out on this project and the potential of it. So, I have invested in it. Uh, putting my money where my mouth is as usual and um, yeah let's see whether this could be a good you know short to mid-term even a long-term hold um, you know and I, I always recommend taking profits at the end of the day you know so as this thing pumps you know you might want to scale out some profits um, you know that would be advised um, you know and uh, obviously you, you know guys just you know don't invest more than what you can afford to lose but that being said it's the end of the video guys make sure you like comment and subscribe Tick the little bell for notifications. Let me know what you think about this project in general. And I will see you guys in the very next video.